how about financial reform, the, the uh, Wall Street reform stuff? Is that the kind of thing that you would be for or, or oh, against? Absolutely. Uh, that, that, I, I had a dis actually a discussion right outside the Finance Committee this morning when, when somebody brought it up because of some of the action that Senator Shelby was doing. And uh, would I be supportive of that? And I said, no, absolutely not. I said, you know, what, what we find out that the distinction between the Democrats and Republicans on this issue is that the Republicans are making every effort to protect those large uh, financial institutions. And no, I, I would not be, be part of that. I, I think that we've got eight, well, 12 to 15 companies, Wall Street-based firms, that are so unique that yes, we have to have serious regulation for those firms to protect our nation, to protect our economy, and to protect the world economy. Because those groups were, were so concentrated and on some of the derivative markets and, and so forth that we were we were on the verge of collapse. And and so to address those issues with your large war, uh, Wall Street banks are one thing, and, and we should be, get serious. At the same time, and this is where you get whether you're liberal or conservative. What I have found in talking across the Tennessee Valley is if you talk to community banks, banks that are homegrown, like, I shouldn't use any name, but smaller homegrown banks, you, you, you can't do a cookie code cutter um, finance reform package and make it apply to Morgan Keegan, and then at the same time make it apply to Brian to a small community bank. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just, it's a different market. They, they provide a different service. They use different financial tools. And so uh, it's one of those things that, that all of these things are very, very complicated and just a carte blanche say you would do one thing or the other. But I would not be supporting at all um, what Shelby and some of those folks are trying to do. 